Hey folks, Machine Repeat here. I'm at the 60th Annual National Hard Spring Wheat Show in Williston, North Dakota. And I'm here with the president of the, uh, the show, uh, Floyd Miller from Williston. Floyd, good to see you again, my friend. Good to see you, Greg. It's always good. Or is it, going, is it Pete? Uh, Greg or Pete. I answered either one, Floyd. <laughs> Uh, most people call me Pete. That that works pretty well. But we've got quite an event here now. Uh, this is the 31st year in conjunction with the Wheat Show where we've had a bread fair. Why don't you uh, tell folks about which, what we got going on here? The bread fair is actually where we have fifth graders come in from around the area. Uh, can you get a picture of this, yep, too? Yep, you bet. Here's our bread packet. It's a honey bread that we make. And this morning we made up the packets with different sizes of flowers to be mixed together with the pan and the yeast and the instructions okay. and the fifth graders come in today and they will start mixing it together they have to mix different sizes at different times right it's going to probably take about two hours two hours to mix it all up huh because they have to let it sit for a while too as in making bread okay, i made well, it myself what are all our ingredients ago. here again tonight oh well white white flour some wheat flour okay. it's measured out to different uh how much they need for right. different times to mix in, and the yeast, and maybe some sugar in that. Okay. But then, as it gets done, before they leave at three o'clock, it's going to be in these pans, and then it will be starting the rising process. Okay. And they'll go back on a bus to their schools, and then they'll take this home, and they'll cook it in their own oven at home. Okay. And then they will have fresh bread tonight. Okay. To share with their family, wow. and they have made it. They and how many fifth graders again here today, Floyd? Just about 300. There was a little less than 300. I think okay. we made up 306 packets today okay. because some area schools, they do it in their own place right. around here. Right. And this is the, uh, the 31st year we've been doing the bread fair I here? I think it's the, the 30th. 30th, 30th, 30th year? Yep. Yeah. Okay. And I bet the kids really look forward to it, huh? They look forward to it. My children remember doing it. Yeah. And we used to have a hard red spring wheat show queen contest, and one of the queens remembered doing it also. Really? She was really excited. And so again, it's like the... I suppose the uh, genesis of this was to connect the kids to uh, to the wheat. Right. How important it is that we raise wheat in this area, hard right. red spring wheat, and then uh, uh, how it's used. And right. it, you know, wheat baking has been around for you know ever. That's one of right. the first things that is made is bread, and you always do it. I remember my mother making buns. I don't think my mother ever bought any buns. Right. right. She maybe bought bread and there were six of us children. Right. But she always made her own homemade buns and then she would uh, maybe make a loaf of bread or two at the time too. Right. But, right. Yeah. Well, important to uh, get all the kids uh, connected to wheat and how it's uh, used in our daily lives here with the bread that we need. And uh, boy, what an event here you guys have started. Boy, it must be uh, fun to watch and be part of the, the community in the area over the years here. It really is, and, and I they let me say a few words at the beginning, so I ask them if they like homework. And, of course, no fifth grader does, but no. I tell them I want them to call someone, preferably an older female or whatever, and tell them that they had made bread. Made bread. Because they're going to have it with their, with their parents, hopefully, tonight or wherever right. they live with. But they need to tell somebody older, and, of course, it really touches my heart when one of them calls right. me. And you know so. that's just going to make uh, bring a lot of smiles, isn't it? Yeah. Awesome. Well, great thing here. We'll shoot some more video here and uh, watch the kids have fun. Floyd, thanks for giving us the scoop. And uh, we should have had one for you to make, too, but you <laughs> might be busy, so you can. Machine Repeat's not a very good baker. My wife's going to attest to that, but I'm going to have fun here at the show. And uh, thanks again, Floyd. And thanks. Springer.
No, it's not coming out of the bag if it's sticking. You didn't add enough dough, enough flour in the first place. smiles on their faces throughout the uh, throughout the event um, so I think you know really cool to see young people learning about uh, you know bread and the local ingredients that are needed to make it the, the hard spring wheat uh, canola which is grown up here um, locally grown honey um, so putting that all together and you just know that this is an experience that will stay with them they'll carry forward um, so a big uh, big shout out to uh, Warren Froelich uh, and Mary Froelich with the North Dakota State Extension Service here in Williams County did a fantastic job keeping the kids on track, uh, making it fun. Uh, really a well-run uh, program. And also thanks to Floyd Miller, the uh, president of the uh, National Hard Spring Wheat Show uh, Board of Directors. Floyd uh, invited me up here, told me about this bread fair, and, and Floyd has a vision for this I think that is uh, pretty cool. He, he would like love to see it grow beyond just Northwest North Dakota. And see kids all around uh, America getting the opportunity to make bread and learn about uh, you know wheat uh, and all the ingredients that go into it. Uh, bread is such a staple of life around the world. Connecting the kids to it, how it's made, uh, just fantastically important and I think worthwhile. So again, thanks to everyone. It was a great time, and uh, we'll see you at the sale.